Remember after that from, from HQ, they said that we must go and test the resistance between Malondu, and I can't remember, it's to the east. It's, I remember it's 32 Ks to the east of Malondu. But what happened is the, the reconnaissance, FIACA special forces worked there. Remember months yeah, yeah, before yeah. we got there? They had maps, they yeah. showed where they did their tank, exactly. everything. Mm-hmm. But for some other reason, they were not believed that. So, so I got with, with uh, special forces, two teams, and my armored car troop. We had to provide protection for them. And we went in and our, I mean, that's now four armored cars. Yeah. And two special forces piffles yeah. with, with two teams on it. And we had to go and recon, but also test the resistance. <laughs> so, um, so, so, of course, I wasn't too chuffed about that. And uh, we got very, very close. And, and late that evening, we realized that we are now so close. And when it went silent, as the vehicles start moving between the, the positions, these Ural tracks and things, yeah. you could hear the chains. Yeah. It was so close, you could hear it easily. And we said, okay, just, just sit tight. And we also had an armored car. Remember the old, uh, the steering rack? Yeah. We, we, that also always broke because broke, yeah. of that three stumps that we eat, this, this, these low ones. And uh, we had always had spares with us. Mm. But to get it out, it was tapered. So remember, you had to heat it up with two hammers mm. on the side so that it could pop out and you could put the view on. And I was lying there, and it, it was uh, just too noisy to my, because we know where we are. Mm. And then and then the special forces guys, they called in the Ipstrak. That That's the one you, are, you referred to. Yeah. Yeah. And they came in, we could clearly see them. And I mean, the the amount of anti-aircraft fire was just ridiculous. Yeah. I, I, it was a wide, wide angle, and it was just traces. But those guys, I, I, that day, I a lot of respect for those, mm-hmm. those in drivers. I mean, they, they came in and they actually came in at the same angle three times, which is not normal mm-hmm. procedure. But in any event, and at that one, and I remember till today, and I would like to meet these guys maybe again, but the, the one guy's name was, was John. I can remember because we listened in on the radio. Yeah, I must actually ask it. So they did the strike. The one would be on top and the one would strike, pull out, and then the other one will come in and, and do the strike. And as they pull out, you could see the Sam 7s because it makes this yeah. white, white tra- trail of smoke. And I never thought that the Impala can kind of outrun them, but they have a self-destruct. I stand to be corrected. I think it's about 7,000 meters or seven whatever. But in any event, so so if that impulse out and then the Sam comes in, you see that white trail of smoke going off that and this, uh, the one pilot, that's why I remember the John, and he would... And like a wrist off, you know, laid back, you would say, uh, John, another Sam on your tail. And, and they had no flares, no nothing. No, no nothing. At that stage, oh. we haven't had flares or anything. Mm. So he would pull out, he, he, he would pull out, and then you see the, the, the explosion. And they yeah. did find that at that stage, then we, we they said they need to return because a Sam hit the Impala at the back in the right. tail, mm. but he didn't uh, explode. 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 Yeah. The Detonate. And that guy, that's the one you are referring yeah. to. Because you when they me. left. And I'm, sorry, yeah. um, John, I'm, I'm, you guys must correct me. It's not a Sam 6 that they were looking for. Sam, it? Sam 8. Sam 8 yeah. Was it the 8? It was two Sam 8s yeah. that was in that point in time. And the purpose of Ascari was to obtain those two Sam 8s. Yeah. And, the code, yeah. and the code name was Pada. But oh yeah, I, don't yeah. Remember I can't remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so so that was and 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 then we said okay, no, the, we yeah. we we now confirmed the the resistance is actually you know it, it is what it's it, efficient. It, it, <laughs> it is what the special forces said. So we we drew back, but on our way back, I got another mission to say, listen, you must uh, do an ambush at one of the there was a water hole there. Uh, but I mean, at that it was rainy season. It wasn't as if Everybody will come to this specific one, but in any event, there we 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 did the around the water hole, did the ambush, everything, positions and so forth. I had the infantry with me as well. They dug trenches there. They were kind of scared, but you know, deep ones, deep ones. And that's that's where I got. I I the next morning when I woke up as the sun starts rising, 
I walked past and these infantry guys, those not on guard, was lying in these trenches because it was raining through at the night, in these trenches, in their sleeping bags, just their heads sticking out, and their whole body was in water. Oh, no. And, and they, they were sleeping. And I just said there, thank you that I never ended up in the, in the infantry. infantry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because I can, you know, how we did with our cleaning sticks and, and the canvas and everything. And we, mm. we slept dry yeah. uh, every uh-huh. evening. I mean, we managed to. That's something we could we, we, uh, really do well. And I said, but I've got great respect for those guys. Mm. And it comes back to the training again. I mean, those guys are so focused and everything they they take what they have and, and take their rest and the next day we we, uh, we we moved on again. 